Bells are magical to me. The shape is like a like a like a dress. Uh, it's just visually like magic. The more I researched, the more I was fascinated. I have about 700 bells in my collection. Natalia Paruz is a New York-based musical saw and bell player and busker. The recipient of multiple musical awards, Peruse doesn't shy away from playing on the streets and is always glad to talk about her bell collection. Elephant bell. Bicycle bells. The whole story started from these bells, which I collected from tourist stores in Austria. Peruse used to be a dancer. She interned at the Martha Graham Dance Company and was sure her future would be connected to dance. But everything changed in a split second. She got hit by a car on a New York street as she was making her way home after dance practice. She was badly hurt, both physically and emotionally. The prospect of dancing professionally started to feel very distant and unrealistic. In an attempt to cheer Peruse up, her parents took her on a trip to Austria. While in Austria, we rented a car and we were driving and through the open windows of the cars, I could hear the sound of bells. So I said to my father as a joke, all these different cowherds, they have different pitches of bells. Wouldn't it be fun to collect a whole octave of these cowbells and play them? Peruse just knew she had to learn how to play the bells. She never had teachers. She read old books, studied old photographs, and used her imagination to do the rest of her learning. Cowbell ringing is primarily Austrian and Swiss. Possibly you can also find it in France. Uh, but anywhere else in the world, these particular brand of cowbells, they're, they're really just in those countries. Possibly there may be some ringer here or there in other countries, like I'm in New York. Ringing cowbells is hard work. The musician stands in front of an eight feet long table and constantly moves from one end to the other, ringing the various bells in front of him or her. Peru says there's a certain choreography to that, a certain dance-like structure, making it physically quite demanding. In New York, she has been the only solo bell ringer. Ernest Hemingway wrote, For whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. Oh, I think the bell tolls for everybody. All of us. There is no escaping the bells. For Anna Nelson in New York, Anna Rice, VOA News.